Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to talking about the break statements in a PHP programming language. The PHP break statements, which is breaking the executions of the for loop, do while loop, switch, and for each loop, anything, or which is breaking the uh, control flow of the programs. The break is a keyword which is immediately ends the executions of the programs or uh, execute the loop or a switch structures. It's break the current flow of the programs at the specified conditions and the program controls which resumes at the next statements or outside the loop. Let's just see how we use the break statements right here. We already studied about the break statement or we already used the break statements but here I will give you the complete knowledge about that. So here I just write for i which is equal to uh, 1 then here I just write i which is less than or equal to here I just write 5 and here I just write i plus plus sorry this is i plus plus right here. Now here you will see that after that I just write echo and echo here is let's suppose here I just write that this is i and here I just use a break statement okay here you will see that now after that here I just close this code and I just go to the if statement so if here I just write if i and i which is equal equal to here I just write 2 okay which means that if I reach the statement 2 so simply you have to break the program okay so here what is the flow of this break statement I just take for loop right here which is the initialized statement which is starting from 1 then here i which is less than or equal to 5 means that the value starting from 0 1 2 3 4 okay and then here I just write i plus plus so you know the plus plus which is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 then 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 right here okay here you can see that I just set the if statement which means that if the control flow of the program will reach the 2 so simply uh, break the statement right here. So we have the expected result which is 1, uh, 0, 1 and 2 right here. Let's just see what is the result it's 0, 1 or 2 or anything else right here okay. Here you can see that I just run this code right here so you will see that we have the resultant value which is starting from 1 and 2 and that will break the programs here 2. Why this is 1 and 2 right here only? This is just because of here you can see that our loop is starting from 1. Okay. So here we have only 1 and when it's reached the loop at 2 so simply that program will be break right here. So the flow chart of that here is when we have this conditions let's suppose we have this conditions right here and if you run this conditions so if this condition is true so simply that will execute the result now here we have the statement here if this condition is true so simply that will check this conditions right here and simply if this condition is meet so that will break the programs okay hopefully you understand now if you find any of the problem regarding this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture. Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. And in this lecture, we are going to talking about the continuous statements in a PHP programming language. The continuous statements, which means that, like our break statements, when we are breaking our programs at the certain conditions. So, with the help of continuous statement, we are continue our flow of programs from the certain conditions. Let's just take our old examples right here. Okay. Here you will see that. Firstly, we have the certain conditions which is like i which is equal to 1, then i which is less than 5, and here i plus plus. Here we have the equal statements right here. And then here you can see that our programs here will be terminate after reaching these conditions okay now here you will see that 
if the, if the program is reached at this condition so simply you have to continue the statement right here okay here you can see that when i just run this code right here and this is a new program so here you can see that so 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so that will not starting from 0 because we are condition is starting from the one right here you can see here our flow of program is same like uh, the normal executions now here you will see that i just remove this and here i will write if statements so if the this program is continue right here now here i just write echo and then here we have the running program here is i now here i just write echo or okay so write echo and which is here i just write br tag close this tag right here and then here i will run it again now here you will see that when i just run this so this will be the flow of programs let's suppose you can see here that is starting from the one right here the one right here when it's reached to two so that will skip the conditions right here with the help of continue statements and then that will start his flow of programs right here three four and five and, and then the end of the loop right here hope so you understand now it seems pretty uh seems about or same like the break statement but this is diff uh, different than the break statements that we have the only result which is not print to if you want to skip some of the certain conditions like if you do not want that number three executions right here so th at that case case you have to use the continuous statements to avoid like uh, all of the flow of the programs like if you want to execute one two three four five and you do not want to execute only the third statement right here or third executions here so simply you have to use your continue statement right here so that will uh, that will avoid this statement and then the flow of program will continue or flow of a program will execute uh, normal okay hope so you understand now if you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture hey guys welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to talking about the math functions in a php programming language php provides many predefined math constraints and the functions that can be used to perform the mathematical operations we have the different kinds of math functions where we have the abs functions which is always takes the return absolute value at the positive numbers then we have a cause functions which is return the arc or closing of the numbers okay and also we have some kind of cil functions which is take you may say that the functions round functions up that will take the rounds values okay round about the values like you have 3.3 .3 values so that will take four values okay and you also have the floor divisions as well here in this lecture i will talking about the abs functions which is always taking the positive numbers let's suppose here i'm writing echo and then here i just write the function which is the abs functions so i just tell you about that that will always that is uh, that will always take the values as the positive so you can see here so when i just run this code right here let's just see you can see here that value will be the minus 7 so that here this value will take here the 7 only now here I just go to add some of the other values like this is 7.6 so when i just run this code right here so you can see here this is 7.6 right here which is taking the positive values right here okay and here this is the concatenations of and this is the concatenations of the br tag right here okay and this is the br tag here hope so you understand now so that will simply give us the single line breaks right here now here we have as ciel function so it will take the roundabout values and here you can see that 
CIEL functions which will uh, which will always take the round about the values here okay so let's just see how sorry that is CEIL uh, C -E -I -L functions okay which is take round functions uh, round up functions okay here you can see that so this is an error right here which is in line number 11 where we set this into the before this br tag here so just leave it now I just turn back to the example and now here I just write this is let's suppose we have the value which is 4.6 and then we also have the values which is 5.6 as well let's just see how this uh, variable take these uh, values adds the roundabout so here we miss some of the parentheses right here and now sorry for that and now let's just go to the output of that here I just run this code into the browser and run it again so the output here is you can see that that is 7 then 7.6 then here you can see that we have the value is 8 5 and 6 right here okay now here you can see that I just uh, copy pasted right here and then I will write here here and here as well okay now I just go to the browser and refresh it again so you will find these values right here so this is you can see that the two maths operations or no two maths functions we studied about the PHP in this lecture hope so you understand now and if you find any of the problem regarding to this lecture please let me know and thanks for watching this lecture